In this tutorial, we will create simple hole, counter sink hole, and counter bore hole with the help of hole wizard tool. Now we have one solid body, and we are going to create multiple hole on this body. So hole wizard actually a sketch based feature. You need some sketches to create a hole. So activate hole wizard. Even though you can go to insert features, and here also you will find hole wizard. Even though if you drop down, and you will find hole wizard. Now, first option, hole type. Uh, now, first at the top, you will see type and position. You have to first choose type and then define position of hole. So, first I am going to define type. Hole type, th this corner, simple hole. Okay. Then you have to define the hole standard. So, let's say inch matrix, ISI, I am going to choose metric. Then you have to define type of holes. There are many type of holes according to your job. So let's say I'm going to simply put a drill hole. Okay. Now this is the size of hole. Let's say 12 millimeter. Even if you see, choose custom size. If you don't find your hole size, simply put here. Now this is the tip angle. See, if you are not going to make throughout hole, you have to define this angle also. Now here, the end condition. Okay, first in first case, I am going to choose through all. Now counter sink, this is I am not going to define, we will define this sec in second option. Let's go to position. Now here you have to define any one plane or simply choose 3D sketch. Let's click and activate 3D sketch. Now see our hole is going to move. So I am going to select here. And I'm going to select second hole here. Now press escape key to out or right click and choose select out. Now. Now here is smart dimension and you, you can simply define the position of hole. See, let's say 10 millimeter. And distance from here to here 50 divided by 2. See. Similarly, I am going to define distance from here to here, 15 and uh, let me define the center distance. This is going to be 80 divided by 2. See, now let me select yes. Okay. Now look, there is a throughout hole is created. See, this thickness is less, this thickness is more, but throughout hole created now simply again activate hole wizard hole even though if we choose let's say I'm going to change 10 blind let's say I'm going to change depth 15 now here you have to define depth up to shoulder or up to tip I'm going to choose up to shoulder from here you can define the depth and angle or uh, diameter of hole even now counter side hole now see you will see the outer diameter it shows counter size let's say 12 we will see the counter sink diameter 90 degree uh, angle 90 degree let's choose position now in this case i am going to select one face so i am going to select this face now you have to move and place somewhere here say ok press escape key to out again we can define the distance from here to here let's say 15 even though let's say from here to here 25 say ok look this is a kind of chamfer hole even if I am going to check section view okay look see now let's add some counter bore hole the second option counter sink hole let's choose second one standard let's I am going to choose ISO standard now here you have to choose any one type see counter sink sk flat and here i'm going to choose socket head caps screw now size let's say 10 now there are three fits 
close, normal, loose. Normal, f close fit means there is a less tolerance and highly accuracy. But normal is mid one, show custom size. Now look. Now here you have to define the diameter. We selected M10. Here for M10 thread, so whole size become 11, bigger than the... And this is the countersink diameter. 12.5 countersink angle. Now this is whole bottom tip angle. Now let's define this one through all. Head clearance, even though you can add some head clearance, but let's move position. Now select this face. Now just move somewhere here. Press escape key to out. I am going to define few important relation, let's say 5 millimeter. Twenty-five. Okay. Now let's say okay. Now look. If I am going to right plane section view. Okay. Now look. Okay. Section view is not perfect. So let's little take here. Fine. See. Counter sink hole. edit come down now here we have head clearance for side countersink let's go to head clearance now here if you want to add one millimeter counter bore hole see this counter bore hole going to add one millimeter let's say one millimeter see let's say two 2 millimeter depth you can add head clearance from here say ok look similarly comes to again hole wizard counter bore hole and this time let's say isometric hexagon there are multiple types of holes so I am going to choose for hexagon ok let's say hexagon cap screw now here you have to choose size so I'm going to select a smaller now fit I'm going to choose close custom accuracy custom sizing now this is the whole size you you can modify according to your requirement see this is counter bore diameter this is depth of counter bore this is whole size now through all even if you choose up to next, it is going to make up to end face. Now, if you want to add any countersink at corner, near countersink, if you choose this one, here you have option. Let's say 20, angle 90 degree. Okay. Go to position, select this face. Just move your cursor and place at perfect location. Exit. Now say OK. Now look, this is how we defined a counter bore hole. OK, let me select this one. And if again go to sketch and if I don't want this unchecked clearance, OK. See? Similarly, I am going to do for this. I am going to disable near countersink okay look don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching